Why do I teach clearing seven lymph nodes when majority of people out there teaching or talking about lymphatic drainage are only showing you six? Let me explain and more importantly show you why in this video. Now before I show you, I want you to understand the lymph node that I teach that I think is so important and it's part of my specific seven is because it's the lymph nodes technically because it's a cluster that drain the lymph from your armpit. Okay, so let's talk about why that's important. So the lymph node I'm talking about is the apical lymph node. Apical comes from apex, which is the location. So it's ultimately at the apex of your armpit. And why that's important is it clears the fluid in our armpit. And our armpit is what clears the fluid from our chest. So that side of the chest. So if we're talking about the right side, it's gonna clear all the fluid from the right chest. So from your sternum or your breastbone, all the way around to your spine. And it's gonna go ultimately from your, like just below your clavicle, all the way down to your belly button. So that whole portion of your upper body and your whole hand and arm is gonna drain into your armpit. It's a decent amount of fluid. Well, that fluid that drains into your armpit then needs to drain into the apical node. Now, the problem is if the apical node is congested because that is technically upstream, it's downstream from our termini, but if it's the fluid in the apical node, if that's congested, what ends up happening is it ends up backing up and it ends up congesting in the armpit. So I do believe this is one of the reasons why so many people end up and still have puffy armpits versus having a true armpit, like they have a puff. And the reason they have a puff, you could be pumping your armpit all you want, but if where that fluid needs to move to is congested, if it's clogged, there's nowhere for it to go. So it's not going to be able to move. So that's why I talk about the apical node and why it's important. So let me show you though, like visually what that means. Now, a lot of individuals, when they're talking about clearing like the termini, so like your collarbone, they're showing you like above and below. So they're going like this, they're going above and below, which is great, fantastic, because we do have little lymph nodes below our clavicle. They're called the infraclavicular lymph nodes, right? Makes sense. So this is great. I don't usually tap. <sighs> that we can say for another video. But I see people doing this and that that's fine. However, let me show you where the apical node is and why this isn't cutting it, okay? I've drawn on myself where the apical node cluster is. Because remember, it's a cluster. It's not, it's not just one giant lymph node. And the specific seven or even like the six points that are being taught, they're usually clusters of lymph nodes. It's not just like one big lymph node, okay? So why this is important is look where I'm like tapping versus look where they are. Okay. How you can figure out if you're in the right spot is I want you to take your hand and we're not going to stick it where we would for clearing the armpit, but I want you to take your hand and try and stick it up as high as you can. It doesn't feel good in your armpit. And you can see where I'm pushing up, right? You can see this bulge right here, right here. Okay. It's right where I drew it. This is where the apical nodes are, okay? So if I'm sitting here and I'm rubbing like this above and below, you can see that I'm missing a lot of the apical nodes. And if the fluid from our armpit then moves up and drains to our apical node, which then drains to our termini, if this is clogged, if this is congested, the fluid from here has nowhere to go, okay? So let's take one more step back. All of our fluid drains at our collarbones. The fluid here has the lowest pressure. That's by design, because remember, fluid moves from high pressure to low pressure. So the highest pressure should be in our fingers and our toes because it's furthest away from our collarbones. That makes complete sense. Now, if we have congestion somewhere between our collarbones and our toes, wherever that congestion is, that is no longer considered lower pressure than the areas below it. 
right? Because if we have congestion, that's now becoming a higher pressure point. Like there's more congestion, so there's more pressure. Fluid cannot flow if there's higher pressure somewhere because of congestion. And a lot of the things that we're all talking about when we're talking about lymphatic congestion or the lymph nodes are the choke points. So it's really the choke points of the lymphatic system that tend to be affected most. Now, you may have heard me talking like the total 12. Well, there are more choke points, but I don't typically teach the total 12 because most people out there are like, I don't have time. I don't have time. Give me the bare minimum. So that's what I've done. The bare minimum is the specific seven. And I hope that you can see that this apical node is really important. So unless you have your entire hand and you're like rubbing all the way down, you're really missing it. If we're just doing above and below at the same time and we're trying to get the upper clavicle and the lower clavicle at the same time, it's not going to work which then means we're gonna end up having more congestion in the apical. So the pressure is gonna go up. And if the pressure goes up here, then the fluid from here, from our lymph node here, that has drained all of the fluid from our arm, from our breast, from our upper torso, in through our back, it doesn't have the ability to move from here to here to clear here. So this is why it's so, so important that we actually clear these in the order in which it needs to drain ultimately. So that's why this is always number one. I always go up to our head for tonsils for number two, just because it's so easy to forget otherwise. Then we go down to apical, then we go to armpit. If we're just jumping around, if we're going to armpit first and we're not clearing the apical and the termini, we're really not gonna get a whole lot of movement happening because there's gonna likely be more congestion here and here. So if there's congestion, Question here and here and the fluid is higher pressure, meaning it's not creating a vacuum, a suction here to help pull the fluid up, because remember there's no pump, then that means us starting here is futile. That's why for me personally, when I'm watching other videos, because they pop up for me, because obviously this is what I talk about, so other lymphatic videos pop up on social media for me. When people are talking about clearing, let's say any node first, other than the termini, it's not to say that they don't know any anything about the lymphatic system. I'm just going to take what they say with a grain of salt because if we aren't clearing here and then moving down, we end up having congestion. So again, not to say that people are, that are teaching only six lymph nodes are wrong. By no means, they are not wrong, especially if they're going in the right order. But for me personally, skipping over and missing the apical node is a problem, especially for women, because when we wear bras, our bras run over the apical node. If we carry a purse, if we carry or wear a backpack, all of that pressure is going through the apical node, which then can cause or contribute to that congestion that we're experiencing. So in my personal professional opinion, I 100% recommend that you guys add in this lymph node so that you will see maximum drainage results for your upper torso, your arm, and start to get that arm pit back. Let me know if this was beneficial. And if you haven't been doing the apical node, let me know if you're going to start doing it now that you know where it is and why it's so important. Thanks for being here and happy draining.